The Top Gear franchise, the UK first, then Russia, Australia, then America, and now, stay tuned, we'll fill you in. Also, Hyundai releases their Veloster rally car, an update on Robert Kubica, a new BMW set to go up against the Mazda Miata MX-5, and of course, Hump Day Girl of the Week. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fastlane Daily. Why? Because we love you. When you think of China, well, maybe you think of this. The famous Tank Man, we could show that, right? Aren't we already banned in China? Not yet. Oh, okay. All right, well, when you think of China and you're a car person, you probably think of this. Wow, mini truck drifting, of course. Okay, probably not that either. I think of electronics, personally. That's just because everything says made in China. Anyway, that's not the point. Here's what we are getting at. Top Gear China. And no, we're not joking or talking about dinnerware. Rumors started popping up this weekend that the Chinese state television network, CCTV, had purchased the rights to the Top Gear brand use in the country. Well, those rumors seem to have been confirmed with this photo. From what we've heard, Hosts have been selected, production has started, and there will be at least one episode to air. My name is even being tossed around as one of the possible hosts, but turns out I'm not Chinese, nor do I speak it. <laughs> News to me. I think I... Anyway, Hyundai just released their new three-door Veloster at the Detroit Auto Show last month, and they already have big plans for the small new car. They released this photo of their rally spec Veloster, and it'll make its public debut at the Chicago Auto Show. The race prep car has been topped off with a huge rear wing, white and blue paint scheme, and of course, all the other things you'd expect in a rally car. The car will actually get fully revealed later today, so by the time you see this, you can just go check out Jalopnik or World Car Fans for the details. We suspect it will meet S2000 specifications with its four-cylinder motor getting a massive turbo. And you know what chicks say about massive turbos, right? What? They'd probably just look at it and go, what's that? I didn't know I was getting it there. Hey, and we got an update now on Robert Kubica. If you hadn't heard, this past weekend he was involved in a serious rally car accident that resulted in several broken bones and his hand nearly being severed off by a guardrail. He's expected to remain in the hospital for up to three more weeks with several surgeries this week to stabilize his fractured leg, shoulder, and arm. He's been able to move his fingers on his reattached hand, which is good news, but it's still too early to know the long-term effects. Hopefully, they aren't anything serious. And finally, in today's internet rumor mill, we've got news on a possible entry-level BMW Roadster, set to be positioned below the Z4. Think of it as a Mazda MX-5 fighter. The car Chris Harris called not exciting yesterday on Evo's website. I'm sure JF's pretty pissed about that. Yeah, he loves the Mazda Miata. Anyway, the new Sub-Z4 model will start its life as a concept to be revealed at the Geneva Auto Show in March. The Age is reporting the concept will have some outrageous design cues, maybe even retractable doors like the old Z1. Either way, don't get your hopes up, it's likely this new car will only be offered in front-wheel drive. Did we, did we do it? Oh, all right, let's do it. All right. But I'll tell you what you can get your hopes up for, and who's our hump day girl of the week? She is. There she is, you don't even know who she is, do you? Yes. Nope, because I picked her. Her name is Holly Weber, she's a model actress. Not sure where I came across her, but she's a hottie boom body. Wouldn't mind, <laughs> wouldn't mind getting caught in the web of Holly Weber, if you know what I mean. No, what do you mean? You know my favorite tree just happens to be the Holly tree. I also like to cook on a Weber grill. Uh, you guys got any more? <laughs> she is smoking. I'm looking at boxes and a green screen right now. <laughs> That's it from Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. And a word of advice. Don't do this. Yeah, no. there's a reason you don't do jumps with your stock truck. That guy was okay, amazingly enough. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Next week. Booyah! Ah, oh, hey. Check was that? 48. Uh, thousand.